right now, uh, the status of the project is, is that we have proven in principle in the mouse model that, in fact, Fragile X and m uh, the R's, the protein missing in Fragile X, um, which is FMRP, and m R's work in functional opposition. And we did that in mice. And we used genetics to do it because when you use um, molecular manipulations to turn down signaling. It's very clean. You know exactly what you're doing. You know exactly how much of the protein is available and, and it's very precise. But in humans, of course, you wouldn't be able to do that sort of manipulation, at least not yet. And so the way that we are approaching this issue in humans um, is pharmacologically. And indeed, based on our findings, um, clinical trials are underway in humans. Um, a number of companies are developing metabotropic glutamate receptors um, as, as targets, as therapeutic targets for Fragile X. And really what's very exciting is, is that, you know, by looking at this pathway and, and figuring out how um, synaptic plasticity is disrupted and, and understanding how metabotropic signaling works, it's, it's clear that m rs and FMRP don't exist in isolation at the synapse and that there are a number of other proteins that interact with these proteins and they're all found in the synapse. And interestingly, a number of the proteins that interact with m rs have also been identified as candidate genes for autism. And those um, candidate genes uh, interact with m rs and it suggests that the therapies that we've developed for um, Fragile X may be effective, although you know that's not known at this point. But it, it's very exciting because it suggests at least theoretically, it, it, may, it may be that um, the drugs that we develop to cure Fragile X will be um, useful in some, if not all, causes of autism.